Hiya guys and welcome to this Necron video on the Triarch Stalker. Now I was lucky enough to get hold of an Eradication Legion and um, I'm coming around to building it slowly. There's been lots of other projects on, lots of work as life as in general. Um, and I've got to my Triarch Stalker. So I thought I'd um, do a bit of a video just uh, talking about my thoughts on it and, and ask for any help. So if anyone uses a lot of the Triarch stuff, please let me know. Um, so, the Triarch Stalker itself is it's pretty quick from what I can see. Movement 10 when it's at full wounds. It's toughness 6, strength 7, 3 up, weapon skill, ballistic skill, 12 wounds, 3 attacks, leadership 10. Yeah, 3 up save, so it's necrony for its stat line. Um, it's equipped with a heat ray and stalker fall limbs. So heat ray are two settings. Um, 12 inch on disperse is 12 inch, heavy 2d6 each time this attack is, oh it's 2d6 auto hit, so strength 5 minus 1, 1 damage, so it's basically like a heavy flamer isn't it as far as I'm aware. Or you can do a focused ray, 24 inch, heavy 2, strength 8 minus 4 damage d6, wow, okay. And it has a damage characteristic of d6 plus 2 within half range, it's more like a melter weapon. That's pretty cool, I'm liking that. The other options obviously are particle shredder which is 24 inch heavy 8, strength 6, minus 1, 2 damage, or twin heavy gorse cannon, 30 inch, heavy 6, strength 7, minus 3, d3 damage. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's pretty cool, hitting on 3s. I do like auto hitting though, but that strength, it's, it's not going to rinse my range with that. So let me know what you think. I think I'm going heavy gorse cannon, 6 shots, 30 inch, but it's also very quick, so do I use this as a... Hmm, I don't know, I have to think. I think heavy gorse cannon. Um, so it's living metal and it's, it has command protocols as well which is cool um, quantum shielding as well so it has a 5 plus invulnerable save um, each time an attack is made against this model it, uh, an unmodified wound roller 1 to 3 always fails so you need 4 ups to wound it all the time which is pretty cool isn't it um, yeah particularly it's toughness 6 it sort of like gives the enemy a bit more of a, an issue to deal with doesn't it Targeting relay. Each time this model makes a ranged attack against an enemy unit, if a hit is scored until the end of the phase, each time another friendly Necron model makes a ranged attack against that unit, reroll a hit roll of one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's pretty brutal, isn't it? Um, yeah, so you tag a unit. Yeah, and you just have to hit them, and that auto hits. Okay. Um, okay, so explodes. When a model is destroyed, roll 1d6 uh, on a 6 explodes. Anything within 6 suffers d3 mortal wounds. Um, yeah, sound. So, I don't know. It's the weapon option, really, I think. So, I think the heat ray is pretty cool because it's auto hitting. But then, even I should be able to hit with 6 shots at 30 inch. <laughs> or do you go for the particle shredder? You see, that's a bit different, isn't it? Flat 2 damage, but I do like that minus 3. That makes Marines hurt. That It really does make Marines hurt. But that focused him. Choices, choices here. So, I'm going to get my kit out. I'm going to build it. I've got um, an MDF base. I want to base it on because I know the model doesn't come with one. Um, so, I'm going to do a bit of a, a time lapse video of me building it up, building it up, and then uh, see what we get with. So, let's go. Let's get the, uh, the glues, the knife, the paint, the clippers, and the model itself out. <laughs>
what an absolute nightmare building that was. Doesn't line up properly. The the mud is just like it wants to twang itself apart. One to watch out for there, guys. Definitely. Um, I'm going to let it dry up as best I can, and then I might have to just go around and file it and things like that. I'll do that after the fact. I'm going to move on to the legs now. It's a spider, so I've got a base. It's like 50p off eBay, and I've got some of these old rock formations that me and Joe built historically <laughs> for some of our other gaming exploits. I'm going to use one of them and try and have its legs sort of up on up on that, which I think is going to look kind of cool. Um, but that that cockpit is wow. I shall put it over there, and it will think about what it's done. Uh, but without further ado. Let's get on with the uh, with the legs. Okay, so we've positioned the spider <laughs> how I want it. So I've added an extra one of the extra rocks. It's like it's sort of climbing over. I'm going to use. I've decided I'm going to give it the flamer and use it as a sort of advance, along with my warriors that shoot up the board and things like that, which is pretty cool. Um, and I originally I had two. <laughs> well, I was going to get another one and use the uh, base that one, but after building this bit, I ain't touching another one. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now. Um, while this is obviously, I've, I've had a bit of drying time, I'm gonna use my Vallejo Earth Texture, a bit of army paint, a sand ballast, which I've got over there, and just texture up the base. Um, cover up any of these little holes from bits I've used from other models, so on and so forth, and just let that, that dry thoroughly. And then I'm gonna, the next stage in the instructions is actually uh, these front pincer legs, but I'm gonna skip and put the gun underneath. Um, I like to build completely before I paint, it's just just the way I am. Um, I'm going to put the gun underneath completely just to make sure that positions correctly and uh, then we'll put the pincers on as if he's uh, striking so to speak. So yeah, let's uh, see how we go and uh, let's get texturing. Thank you. 
there we go so all built up so what an absolute nightmare to build that cockpit is wow um <clears throat> yeah so i've um i've had to use like another really orbs on there to cover that up because there's no way you can carve that amount off however the rest of the kit went together beautifully and there we go based um obviously when it's all dry it'll all get an undercoat of black and there he is so i went for the heat ray in the end i like the idea if not really the damage, I like the idea of being able to let everything else in your army reroll once to it. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go, heat ray. But there you go, spidery spider. So, yeah, looking forward to getting him painted up in a future video and adding him to the Legion. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, happy hobbying. And, uh, yeah, watch out for this one. It's a bit of a tricky one to build. <laughs> Take care wherever you are in the world.